In this video, I'll talk about the difference between the covalent bond and the ionic bond, and then I'll walk through some examples of writing Lewis structures for some covalently bonded compounds. So first of all, the covalent bond is where we share electrons. The atoms in the compounds share electrons. And that is opposed to the ionic bond, and in the ionic bond, the, the atoms form ions, and so for example, Na plus plus Cl minus, you've got these two ions, it's a transfer of electrons. Sodium gives up an electron, uh, chlorine picks up that electron, and so we have ions formed and then those um, attract each other. So with the covalent bonds, we share electrons. So let's say we have H2S, our first example. Then let's look at the Lewis dot symbols. So if you have two of these hydrogens, and I'm going to write them apart here, and I'm going to write uh, sulfur in the middle, we have our valence electrons, or just the only electron that hydrogen has, written as a dot. And then sulfur in the middle, sulfur has six valence electrons. So sulfur would be written like this. And I know those electrons like to be paired, but we've got to do something to combine it with the uh, hydrogen. So so we'll put an electron on each side. Now what we have is these, these electrons are going to be shared between sulfur and hydrogen. So written together, then I would have one electron from hydrogen, and on the other side, an electron from hydrogen, and then sulfur in the middle, and an electron from sulfur, an electron from sulfur, and so what you see there are these shared electrons here and here. And when we have a pair of shared, ele uh, shared electrons, then we can simply write a, a dash or a bar. So just like that. And then, of course, these other valence electrons around sulfur, just they stay. These, those stay in the Lewis structure. So there's the first example. Let's take a look at another one. Let's take a look at uh, CH4. CH4. Now, uh, carbon has four valence electrons, so I will put carbon like this. Now, I know that I would like to have those paired, but I've got four hydrogens to worry about here. So I am going to put just one electron on each side of carbon, and then I've got these hydrogens, and each hydrogen has an electron. So I've kind of skipped uh, this step and just gone right to this step where it shows those electrons being shared. So we have these paired electrons. I should really draw these um, on top of each other. But, but then we can draw each of those paired electrons as a bar again. So I'll just do that. And we've got the C in the middle, the carbon in the middle. And again, each line or bar represents a pair of shared electrons. That's what we have. Let me highlight that for you. Each bar rep represents a pair of shared electrons. So back to the first example, we have uh, sulfur and hydrogen are sharing a total of four. So sulfur is, is sharing um, two with this hydrogen atom and two with this hydrogen atom. And then we have two other lone pairs, uh, lone paired electrons on the sulfur atom. Okay, so just to clarify that and, and look at the, the similarities and differences between those two covalently bonded uh, compounds. Now what about double bonds? Well, in triple bonds, it's possible. So the example next is carbon dioxide, CO2. Now carbon has, again, four valence electrons, and oxygen has six valence electrons. So we could write that, uh, those dots in a number of ways, but I am going to write them with carbon in the middle, and I'm going to put two dots here and two dots here. 
So those are the four electrons. And oxygen then will be on the outside here. And it's got six total valence electrons, so I've got to show that. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now what's happening? Well, we have carbon and oxygen. Carbon is sharing four electrons with each oxygen atom. So I'm going to draw a bar. Again, a bar represents a pair of shared electrons. So in the end, I'll draw the oxygen on the outside, two bars connecting the carbon, and then another oxygen. And we still have these remaining lone pairs that are not being shared, these electrons that are not being shared on the oxygen atoms. Okay, and then a triple bond. I'm going to finish with a triple bond. That sounds kind of exciting. That's the, the, cl the climax of the movie. Finish with a triple bond or, or of a, uh, some kind of a show or routine. Finish with the triple. Now, nitrogen. <laughs> nitrogen has five valence electrons. So we can write that a number of ways in a dot structure. But when, they are, when we bring two nitrogen atoms together to form a covalent bond... We're going to show it like this. We've got the alone pair out here, and I'm going to just put three on one side just because I know what's going to happen. That's for one nitrogen, and three for the other nitrogen. And now what we have is three pairs of shared electrons. So that's going to be a very stable um, compound. The, the more bonds you have, the more uh, stable the compound you have. So it will be drawn in the end then like this. In three bars, representing three pairs of shared electrons. And don't forget those lone pairs that are not being shared that are still attached to the nitrogen uh, atoms. I hope that was helpful. If you did find that helpful, consider liking it or sharing it with a friend.